Hey, I didn't expect you to get here so soon. My name's Christian. Welcome to this guitar tutorial for our new song, Good News. I'm going to show you how to play a few parts from it, including my parts and then the parts that Dylan, the other guitarist, plays. All right, let's get started. The first part of the song is just a palm muted guitar. Um, that's the part that I play. And to do that, it's just on E, you play on the uh, seventh fret of the A string. And all I'm doing is I'm palm muting and I'm just picking at the kind of this rhythm. I'm using my pinky because the next move that I'm gonna do is I go right down to A flat, the fourth fret on the E string. So I'll go, and I hit that twice, and then all I do is I roll my pointer finger up onto the D flat on the A string, which is the fourth fret, and I continue that rhythm. And then I take my pinky, go down to the B, which is the seventh fret on the E string, and I just hit that twice. And all I do is I start over, and I just continue that for a little bit while the vocals come in. So the rhythm of it, the whole thing all together is. Pretty simple, not very, very complex. Yeah, so that's the intro part to the song. I'm more than free to get to cotton and loose. It turns out that All right, so for the other part that plays when the song kicks up a little bit during the verse, um, what Dylan plays, his part is, he starts on the E, which is the seventh fret of the A string, and you just have your, uh, you'll have your middle finger already resting on that, have your pointer finger also ready on the D string on the sixth fret. So what it looks like is you're just gonna play those back and forth, one, two, and then you're just gonna pull up your pinky onto the ninth fret on the D string. So all together it's... So pretty simple. And then you do that one more time. But instead of going back up onto the ninth fret on the D string with your pinky, you're gonna go down with your pointer finger onto the fourth fret, the A flat on the E string. And you're gonna hit that once, really staccato. And right when you do that, so it's going to go. And right after that, you're going to just go and have your, or your ring finger on the fourth fret of the A string. And as soon as you do, you're going to slide up to the sixth fret. So you go. So it's just. And after that, you're just going to hold that note, pick it again, and slide back down to the fourth fret. So it'll go. So now you're on the fourth fret with your ring finger on the A, A string. On the D string, you're gonna to go to the second fret and you're going to go back and forth kind of like what we did in the beginning. And then what he does is he goes, so he goes back and forth. And then with his pinky, it's kind of a stretch, but you're gonna kind of hit this really quick, just a quick pop note. And then the last part that he does is he goes, so just back and forth, you're not going back up with the pinky and he hits rolls his pointer finger down to the B, which is the second fret on the A string, and he goes, hits that. On the D string with his ring finger, he's gonna slide from four, the fourth fret, up to the sixth fret, and then it's just gonna start all over again, and when you start back into it, you're gonna take your ring finger, or I'm sorry, your middle finger, from the seven, or fifth fret on the A string to the seventh fret on the A string, and that's what starts it over. So all together, I'll do it really slow, um, starting out with your middle finger on the seventh fret of the A string. And that just starts over again. So 
That's kind of a quick and dirty explanation of how that's done. All right, that's pretty much that. And during that whole time, <clears throat> what I'm doing is I'm usually just playing uh, power chords with the main chords during that, which is E, and then I go to an A flat major, and then I hit a uh, C sharp minor, and a B major. So the whole time that he's playing that part that we just learned, I'm just running through those chords over top of it. All right, so for the next part, which is the kind of running riff after the chorus, it only happens once, it's right after the first chorus. Um, there's a little guitar part, it sounds like. So again, it's. Okay, and so to do that, what I do is I start with my ring finger on the 11th fret of the G string, and I'm bending up from the 11th fret to the 13th fret. And as soon as I make that bend, I just slap my hand down, palm mute it, so it stops the note. So and I do that twice, and then what I'm gonna do after that, after two, two of those bends, I then, on the third one, third bend, I bend up to the note, and then I pull off, I do a pull off, so as I'm bending back down, I pull off from the 11th fret with my ring finger to my pointer finger on the 9th fret. So there's a pull off. And then I just come right back down and I do a hammer on with my ring finger on the 11th fret of the D string. Cool. So all together. We come back up. So after you do the hammer on, you come back up with your pointer finger onto the ninth fret of the G string. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna do that same thing again, kind of a different rhythm. So the first time you're doing it pretty standard. One, two, three. So on this next one you go, you wait a beat. So it's gonna go two, three, four. And then you just kinda uh, like on the off beat, you're gonna bend after that. So you're not hitting directly on the down beat for that second part. On the off beat is when you hit it. So it'll go. And you're essentially doing the same thing again, you're just kind of catching up. So it's a little bit faster, and you're, then you're coming back up again to the ninth fret on the G string. Um, after that, what I do is I slide my ring finger from the ninth fret on the G string up to the 13th fret, and at the same time that I'm doing that, as I'm sliding, I lay my finger, my pointer finger, on the 12th fret of the B string, and I just strum those two notes together. So, real quick. Um, then the next thing I do after I play that those two notes together is I just have the same exact finger position, but I slide down two frets. So now my ring finger is on the 11th fret of the G string, and my pointer finger is on the 10th fret of the B string, and I just strum those two notes. So it's. And then it's just one more. And all I do is I just lay my pointer finger across uh, the ninth fret of the G string and the ninth fret of the B string, and I just play those two notes. So that's it. Pretty simple. Um, after that, the next part is I do a quick hammer on from the ninth fret of the D string, quick hammer on to the 11th fret. And I just go. So what I'm doing is I'm doing the quick hammer on to the 11th fret. I hit that fret again, or I hit that note again. Then I go back down to the ninth, back up to the 11th, and then I go up a string to the G string on the ninth fret. So that's pretty much all of it. Uh, all together, it's, I'll do it pretty slow. And that's all the pieces, pretty much all the pieces for uh, the whole song Good News. All right, cool. Thank you everybody for checking it out. Um, check out our Spotify, My Kid Brother. Check out all of our social media, all that stuff, you know. And uh, thanks, thanks for watching.